So this will essentially allow Automat to connect to the bus, navigate the tree of objects. I can open the bus. This is, for instance, how we display notification. Once you select a service, each service exposes a file system, something like a file system. So this is what you see here. On the top level, you have two directories and you can open them. This file system is kind of special because directories are can provide methods. Uh, those interfaces, those are basically interfaces which are provided by this path. So this is a status notifier watcher. So this debus is a fairly kind of nice mechanism. It allows you to look around uh, in the system, explore it and interact with it. And you have lots of options here. And the system bus is actually the more interesting one, because in system bus you get access to like I can talk with different Bluetooth devices using this DBus interface. This is insane. I can literally send messages to different Bluetooth devices which are connected. Yeah, so DBus is like a lingua franca of Linux. It's the glue that it's not used for bulk activity, but it's used to coordinate work of multiple programs. But I like it. Actually, Dibas has one property that I really liked about X11, and this is... It provides a shared space for all the programs on your desktop to interact, to talk with each other. This is the, the key to interoperability on Linux, this Dbus thingy. 